What is the gravity like on Saturn? It is not that strong. In fact, even though Saturn is much larger than Earth, its gravity is only a little more as compared to Earth. <laughs> this is because, as compared to Earth, which is solid, Saturn is only made up of gases. Huh? This makes Saturn very light for its size. Actually, Saturn has the lowest density of all the planets in our solar system, even lower than the density of water. Mm. Oh. Is Jupiter a failed star? To start with, Jupiter is made up of hydrogen and helium, the same elements as our Sun. But it is not massive enough to create the internal pressure and temperature needed to fuse hydrogen into helium. Basically, Jupiter would need to be about 75 times more massive to ignite nuclear fusion in its core. Hence, Jupiter is called a failed star, because it has the same ingredients as a star but didn't grow massive enough to ignite. Hmm. Why is the color of space black? According to a study, the space appears black because the universe is expanding. This expansion is causing the visible light emitted by the stars to stretch out so much that when it reaches our eyes, they cannot detect it. As our eyes cannot detect any visible light, the space appears black to us. Moreover, light has a specific speed limit. So, light from faraway stars has not even reached us. Thus, the space appears black. How was the asteroid belt formed? No idea. But Chum Pum loves to jump on the asteroids. Oh, Chum Pum! About 4.5 billion years ago, our sun was formed from a huge cloud of gas and dust. Leftover cloud of gas and dust started spinning around the sun. These bits began to collide and stick together and slowly converted into planets. But still small bits of rocks were left over. These are called as asteroids. Most of these asteroids got pulled by Jupiter's huge gravitational pull and eventually formed an asteroid belt between Jupiter and Mars. Hmm. Why does Saturn have rings? Simple, because Chum Pum gifted it to huh? Saturn. Oh, Chum Pum! One theory suggests <laughs> that Saturn's rings are remnants of celestial bodies like a moon or a comet. Hmm. Billions of years ago, a celestial body may have got too close to Saturn. Hence, the side facing Saturn was pulled more strongly as compared to the side facing away. So, this inconsistent gravitational pull may have ripped apart the celestial body into pieces. Finally, these pieces might have started revolving around Saturn, thus forming its beautiful rings. Hmm. What if Earth was made of lava? Yuck! Chum Pum hates lava. Oh, Chum Pum! Firstly, if Earth was made of lava, even the sun may start running away from planet Earth. Secondly, if Earth was made of lava, our moon may start sweating profusely. Lastly, if Earth was made of lava, Earth's neighbors may start wearing fire suits. What if Earth was made of chocolate? No need. Chum Pum likes only lollipops. Oh, Chum Pum. Firstly, if Earth was made of chocolate, humans may completely eat up planet Earth. Secondly, if Earth was made of chocolate, Earth may start melting away in sun's heat. Lastly, if Earth was made of chocolate, planet Earth may get completely surrounded by flies and insects. What is a supermoon? Simple. This is a supermoon. Oh, chum pum! Supermoon is a full or new moon that nearly coincides with perigee. Perigee is the moon's closest point to the Earth in its monthly orbit. This results in a moon which appears larger than its usual size when observed from Earth. The technical name for the same is perigee syzygy, as in roughly straight line configuration of Earth, Moon, and the Sun. The term supermoon is attributed to astrologer Richard Knoll. Out of the possible 12 or 13 full or new moons each year, usually three or four may be classified as supermoons. Hmm. Why doesn't Earth have Saturn-like rings? Simple, because only Chum Pum the King has those rings. Huh? 
Oh, chum pum. It's got to do with Roche limit. It is the distance at which objects tend to be ripped apart by the planet's gravitational pull. Now, in case of Saturn, it is popularly believed that a celestial body like Moon or Comet got too close to it and exceeded the Roche limit. Hence, it got ripped apart into pieces, thus forming its rings. Now, Earth also has a moon. But since it is beyond the Roche limit, it doesn't get ripped apart into pieces to form rings. Hmm. How was the moon formed? No idea. Let's ask the moon. Huh? Oh, chum-pum. According to the giant oh. impact theory, Theia, a Mars-sized body, collided with Earth. This collision threw chunks of Theia as well as chunks of Earth's crust into space. Now gravity bound these ejected chunks and led to the formation of our moon. According to the co-formation theory, two similar-sized bodies collided twice, forming an early Earth surrounded by a disk of material that then combined to form the moon. According to the capture theory, the moon was already formed. It was just snapped by the Earth's gravity while it was passing by. Hmm. What if Earth became an asteroid? No big deal! Asteroids are nothing in front of Chum Pum. Oh, Chum Pum. Firstly, if Earth became an asteroid, then just like an asteroid, even Earth may now be surrounded by fire. Secondly, if Earth became an asteroid, Earth may shift over to the asteroid belt. Mm. Lastly, if Earth became an asteroid, other asteroids may carry Earth away. Mm. What if Earth became half moon? No big deal. Chum Pum will become half sun. Oh, huh? Chum Pum. Firstly, if Earth became half moon, Earth may now say goodbye to the original moon. Secondly, if Earth became half moon, Earth's moon half may keep on changing its shape. Hmm. Lastly, if Earth became half moon, Earth may now have to order moon glasses. Hmm. What if huh? Earth became half Jupiter? Cool! Now Chum Pum can easily go to vacation on Jupiter. Oh, Chum Pum! Firstly, if Earth became half Jupiter, Earth's Jupiter half may become way too big. Secondly, if Earth became half Jupiter, Earth's Jupiter half may always be accompanied by Jupiter's 100 moons. Hmm. Lastly, if Earth became half Jupiter, Earth's original half may start hiding from Jupiter's great red spot. Hmm. 